Hi, my name is Gordon from Gimeo, and today we're going to talk about why email signature images get converted to attachments. Now, the most common reason that uh, images in emails get converted to attachments is because the emails are being sent or received in plain text format. So what that means is, let's say you receive an email and the images are attached to the email instead of uh, remaining in the actual body of the email. Usually th the reason for that is because the email at some stage has been converted to plain text format and plain text format doesn't support images in the body of the email. So let's say for example you uh, get an email from your friend and they've sent it uh, using HTML format and they've uh, put some images in the email like in their email signature for example and you've received the email uh, and you see their email signature images as attachments. Now the reason for that is probably that your Outlook has converted the email, the incoming email to plain text or maybe their mail server has converted the email to plain text when they were sending the email. So that's the most common reason that uh, email signature images get converted to attachments. Now there's a few other reasons which I'll just mention as well. So the other reason could be that uh, the images in the email signature are embedded instead of linked. And what that means is when the email signature images are embedded, they usually have a content ID. And when they're linked, they have a, um, like they're, they're linked to an image hosting platform. So you'll get like a hyperlink with your image in it. And that's the, what you use for the actual image. So basically if your images are embedded, uh, Outlook is more likely to uh, add them as attachments rather than keep them in the body of the email. Um, but if you're using uh, linked images, uh, Outlook is more likely to retain them in the actual uh, body of the email, which is what you want. Uh, another reason is that antivirus software um, is stripping the images from your email signature. So there has been cases where that has happened. Um, antiviruses, especially the ones that are installed on, uh, you know, local computers, um, uh, not on sort of server grade infrastructure, uh, the ones that are installed on local computers, they will um, scan your incoming emails and if they detect anything unordinary, um, they'll strip the images out of the email and um, basically add them as attachments. And um, also another thing, another reason that this uh, could, could happen is that the exchange server or um, the mail server is converting all the outgoing emails to plain text format. So even if your mail client such as Outlook is set up to send emails from HTML, uh, sorry, using the HTML format, when the email goes out through the mail server, there could be a rule on the mail server that says for any outgoing emails, they must be converted to plain text format. Now, um, the default behavior for Exchange is to send out in whichever format the email client determines. So if the email client determines HTML format, that's the format that Exchange will send in. Um, but yeah, if you, if you do set up a specific rule in Exchange to send out as plain text, that's what it will do uh, regardless. So if you've checked all your settings, that sort of could be um, a last resort thing to check if, you've, um, if you're all out of options. So the next thing we'll go through is just um, how you can change your message format when you're composing new emails. So in, if you've got, if you're using Outlook, um, just go to File up the top, and then go to Options, and then click on Mail, and then what you'll want to do is just have a look here, compose new message, compose messages in this format, and you should have HTML checked. Um, if you've got plain text checked, um, yeah, that. Probably bad news if you're trying to use images. And for Apple Mail, I believe the process is quite similar. You just click on Mail, Preferences, Composing tab, and then from the Message Format section, you choose Rich Text. So now the next thing I'll show you how to do is um, I'll show you how you can change the message format on the incoming emails. Now it's important to remember that not everyone has their email clients set up to send in HTML format. So some people have it set to plain text format and there's not much you can do about that other than them changing it themselves. But if you do receive an email in plain text format like this one here, 
Um, I'll show you how you can actually change it to HTML format, but um, I do have to warn you that it is a manual action um, for every email, so you, it's not like you can just convert all emails to HTML format. You'll have to do it one by one. So let's say you've just received this email and it's in plain text format, but you want to reply to it using your uh, HTML signature and you need the images um, to be there. So once you click reply, you'll see another window open up there. This is a plain text signature anyway, it's not HTML, so there's no images in there. But I'll just show you how to change the text uh, the, 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 uh, format anyway. So just here, if you go to up at the top, the format text, click HTML, and then you'll see all these um, options here um, open up so you can basically edit a whole bunch of things. Um, and if you go back to plain text, you'll see here, it says formatted text will become plain text. So that's how you basically convert um, any incoming emails that are in plain text to HTML format. There is another little tricky thing, which I'll show you. Um, Outlook sometimes, um, Outlook has an option to convert all incoming emails to plain text. Um, so if all your emails are coming through as plain text, this could be why. Just follow this, click on file and then go to options. And then go to trust center. And then just go into trust center settings. And then email security. And then there's a tick box here that says, um, which is under read, or, read as plain text. And then read all standard mail as mail in plain text. So if you tick that, Basically, in any incoming email it will come through as plain text, and um, you definitely don't want that. Um, and I'm not even sure what, what it's there for, but I believe it is there for security reasons. So um, basically, people can't spy whether you've downloaded an image by looking at the logs of a mail server. I want to go through um, how the whole uh, flow of mail format works. So. If I was to send an email using the HTML format um, to someone that's using plain text, it will obviously get converted to plain text on, on their end. And then they send uh, me an email back. Uh, I would have to convert it manually to plain text. So what that means is basically I can always you can always um, downgrade email uh, format. Uh, uh, yeah, you can always downgrade email formats. Um, automatically, but upgrading email formats uh, is always a manual action. So if you're upgrading from plain text to rich text, you have to do that manually. Similarly, if you are upgrading from rich text to HTML, it's a manual action every time. So it's important to keep that in mind. So when an email, uh, let's say you send an email in HTML format to a, you know, a chain of people, and then um, 10, 10, 10 replies later, the email will most likely end up in plain text format because someone within that chain has changed the format of the email and no one after them has bothered to change the email to HTML because it is a manual action. So it's quite important to keep that in mind. Um, if, uh, if you ever get an email and it's in plain text format, it's likely it's uh, been changed somewhere down the line. So that's uh, all I've got for today. And if you haven't already tried our email signature generator, Feel free to give it a try. Um, we've got over 40 premium templates um, and you can create an email signature really, really easily. Um, it's a really great tool and um, we've got quite a few users already um, commending this tool on how easy it is to use and leaving us testimonials all over the place. But yeah, feel free to, um, feel free to give it a try. We've got three free layouts. Um, the other ones are all premium. We do have uh, over 40 templates now, I believe which you can choose from. Um, they are only $7 to purchase. So um, yeah, you can purchase any premium template and populate it with your own details and um, have a pretty much a professional email signature um, quite quickly. So yeah, give it a try. Um, I will put the link below. Thanks very much for watching and see you next time.